That'll do it now from DC. How about the local angle? Let's head back down to the Holy City with Sophia Radeball standing by at the College of Charleston. Sophia. Yes, Dan. Well, I know you covered your fair share of College of Charleston games, but if you came as a fan, you know how packed out TD Arena was all year. It looks a little different now that the game is in Washington, D.C. tonight, but that's not stopping Cougar fans from celebrating their team tonight. Bartenders are prepping and seats ready to be filled. Super excited just to be a part of it. General manager of T-Bones, Bill Johnson, says every TV in the restaurant will be turned to watch the Cougs. Getting ready for everybody to come in, settle in, get ready for the game, find a good spot and hang out with us. Johnson says the success of CFC basketball this year has helped their business tremendously. And tonight for the championship game, he's expecting one of the biggest crowds of the season. The atmosphere in the bar and in the restaurant, everybody excited about the game and excited to, to support our local team, kind of gets everybody hyped up. Parker Lopresti works at the college. It's great to be a part of that energy because everyone on campus, you, everyone feels that energy and it's, it, it goes around not only between the students, but also employees. He says even though the students and employees are on spring break, the excitement is still high in town. He says his fingers are crossed for a win. It's going to be electric around here because I think the only a few times we've ever actually been in the in March Madness. So this will be something really special around here. So this is interesting. If the Cougars win tonight, that means three teams from South Carolina will be going to the big dance with Furman winning the Southern Conference last night and South Carolina women winning the SEC. Live in downtown Charleston, Sophia Radebaugh, count on two. All right, a lot of people hyped.